In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the header area of your website look awesome. So typically when you install your website, by default you have a white background. So as you can see here, this page has this white background and this continues on to whatever page that you create on your website. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this background here, add transparency to it and we're going to make it look like this. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is to create a brand new page. And by the way, before we proceed, the theme that I'll be using throughout this tutorial is called Divi. This is a premium theme. It's a paid theme. It's fantastic. So I've been using this for a very long time. Now, if you want to use Divi to build your web pages, I have a fantastic offer for you. If you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I'll give you access to my course worth $247. Now this Divi course will teach you everything that you need to know about building professional websites using Divi. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's dive in and let me show you how to build this header area. Okay, so over here, I just click on add a new page. I'm gonna call this Sun. And then I'm just gonna come over here and edit with the Divi Builder. So next, I'm gonna come over here and build from scratch. I'm just gonna close this for now. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do here is to add our full width header. So I'm gonna come over here, click this plus button, click on full width, select my full width header, and then I'm just gonna save for now. Next, I'm gonna come over here to my module settings. So I'm gonna click here on this gear icon. So this is gonna take me to my full header settings. I'm gonna scroll down here, click on background, and the first thing I'm gonna do is to add my image. So I'm gonna click this plus button here, select my image, and then click upload an image. So now you can see our image is in place and that's looking great. Next, on the top here, we can see we have a section that we don't need. So all we have to do is to click this uh, trash icon here like that and that gets, re uh, gets rid of it. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is to just stylize my text because I prefer to have my text here uh, with the right font. So I'm gonna come over here to design and then I'm gonna click on this brush tool and this will take me to my header. So I'm gonna change my default here to Poppins, make it all caps. Next, I'm gonna come over here to my body text. I'm gonna click on that, click on default, change that to Poppins. That's looking great. Next, I'm gonna come over here to the button, uh, click on use custom styles for button. And then I'm also going to change my font here just to keep my consistency. Change that from default to Poppins. Okay, so now that we have all our fonts in place, that's looking great. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna do now is to come over here to my layout. So as you can see here, it's not covering a lot of space, so we want this to cover the full screen. So I'm gonna activate uh, Make Full Screen, and now you can see this is covering way much more space, and that's looking great so far. Okay, so the next thing we need to do now is to... Um, just adjust our width for our text that we have here. So to do that, I'm just gonna scroll down until I get to sizing. And then I'm just gonna drag the slider down like that until I'm happy with where my text is. So I think I'll go as, as low as say 50. That's looking great. I can see here that my text is quite difficult to read. We're gonna, we're gonna resolve that problem in a minute. Okay, so now I'm happy with that. The next thing I need to do here is to just go ahead and save. Right, so now that we have all this in place, um, I'm gonna save my page. Now let's go ahead and uh, add our transparency to our header area. So to do that, I'm gonna come back over here to my dashboard. So I'm just opening this in a new tab. Right, so uh, on my dashboard, I'm gonna scroll all the way down here to my theme customizer. Select that. And then I want to come over here to header and navigation. I'm going to select that. Primary menu bar. Right, so this is where we make our changes. So I'm just going to scroll down here. Uh, my text color here, as you can see, it's white. So I just want to change that to something where I can see. So I'm going to go with a very light gray, just like that. Okay. So that's looking great. The next stage now is to scroll all the way down here until I get to background color. So this is the color that I need to add my transparency to. So once I add my transparency there, it's gonna show the image that's behind. So I'm gonna go ahead, click on that area and drag this slider down. 
So as you can see, the more I drag the slider all the way down like that, now I have full transparency at the top. So basically this is how we add our transparency to our page. Now, uh, there's something else that is very, very important here. So when I start uh, scrolling through my page, Ideally, I want to make sure that my navigation there is still visible as I'm scro scrolling through the page. So to fix that, all I have to do is to click back over here, click on Fix Navigation Settings, and then I can add my color in here. So I can just go for a really dark color like that. So you can see here, as soon as I start dragging, we have this um, transparency here which uh, allows me to see what's behind. Now, if you want to make that even more prominent, what you can do is you can increase, uh, decrease the transparency here and now see what happens. Now you can really see it. Okay, so it's up to you how you prefer to have it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag this slider pretty much halfway and I'm happy with that. Okay, so now, now that that's done, all you have to do now is to publish. Now let's go to our page and uh, refresh it. So first of all, I'm going to save what we've done so far, and then I am going to refresh this page. Okay, so now we can see that our transparency is on, but something is not right. Uh, and that is, when we take a look at the top area here, uh, the text is not very easy to read. So there's an easy fix for that, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's go back into our module settings. And then this is our final steps. Now I'm going to scroll down all the way to background. And then I'm going to come over here to my gradient. So over here on the gradient, I'm just going to click on this plus button, add my gradient colors. So my first color here is going to be black. And then my second color is going to be full transparency. Okay. Like that. Okay. So now that we have that in place, all I have to do now is to place my gradient above the image just by doing that. So now you can see it's nice, it's really dark at the top, our text is much easier to read, and basically this is how you do it. Now let's say you want to make adjustments to that, maybe it's a bit uh, too much, all you have to do is to come back over here on the color, and then drag the slider down to add the transparency. So as you can see here, I'm making it lighter, so you may, you may want this very, very subtle. So let's go with uh, perhaps maybe this setting right there. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead now and save. Now we have our transparency on the header area. And then uh, just to finalize this, as you can see, our page looks really uh, odd. So I'm just going to add a new section here, three columns, and then I'm just going to add some blurbs just to add a bit of style to this. So I'm going to come over here, use image and icon. I'm just going to add my icons here. So I'm going to add my uh, first icon. And then I'm going to come over here to design, image and icon. I'm going to give this icon a color. So that's looking great. On the, over here on the size, I can actually adjust the size. So I'm going to bring this down to about, um, let's say, 44. Okay, now for the text, all I have to do now is to come over here onto my heading text. I'm going to change my default font to Poppins. I'm going to make it all caps. And we're going to center it. And then... On, the, this, on this text here as well, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to center it and change this to Poppins. Great. So now that I have this area all, all set, all I have to do now is to duplicate this a few times by hitting Command-C, Command-V, like that. Now, if you're on a PC, it's Control-C, Control-V to, uh, Control to paste. So I'm just going to go in now and just change my icon. And this is how quickly you can build and this is how quickly you can start building your page. And then over here, I'm going to do my uh, final one. Come over here to image and icon. Drag this down a little bit. And then I'm going to choose my icon to go with. Great. Okay, so pretty much this is our design. I'm just going to say, I'm just going to exit the visual builder here. And now we can see we've transformed our page from this design here, which has this white at the top. And we've designed it to have this uh, really nice looking background. And as you can see, when I start scrolling, I can still see my navigation over here on the top. 
and pretty much this is our basic page. Now, as I mentioned, this was designed using Divi. Divi is, my, I'll say, the best page builder out there. If you want to learn how to design websites using Divi, I have a course which is uh, $247, but if you buy it using my link on the bottom there, it has a 50% discount, so you can benefit by... Um, signing up for that course now. And also, if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you access to the course absolutely free. Thanks for watching. See you again in the next video.